Hello everyone and welcome to StarMaid. Now today I'm just going to be basically showing you the ships that I've made in this game so far. I'm not really going to go into the how-to or anything because I think there's plenty of videos of that already on YouTube. But when, I st when you start the game you spawn by a shop and you get a ship block and a few things and the ship blocks you press X to put those down and, or ship core rather and they just look like this. Now uh, the first ship I made is right here. This one is called Titan. Titan 2, actually. It's the second iteration. Uh, it's got a turret on top, which I don't really like that. I usually take that off. It doesn't really need one. But yeah, it's just a basic, simple fighter. It's got two twin... actually, no. Four. Four antimatter cannons and one big, long salvage cannon. Now let me get in so you can see how this kind of works. Now this right here is a cockpit. I was just seeing if you could actually make it to where you look backwards, but that doesn't seem to work. Now here are the engine blocks on either side, and then we got a, a plex storage. These are extra inventory space. And uh, we got a door here, and a second door here. That's the airlock. And then uh, we got our salvage computer over here, weapons computer up here, gravity unit. Turn the gravity on. We got a long corridor that leads to the cockpit, which is basically just a vanity item, really. Doesn't really serve any purpose. And then let's get in the ship itself. Now you can see this thing, I think it looks pretty cool. For my first ship, just kind of screwing around. It's, uh, it's quite fast. It's not the fastest ship, but it's it's not bad. Let's uh, test out these weapons here. See, four beams. Does a good amount of damage. These things are... Uh, it's pretty good for like a beginning ship. It can take out the pirates pretty well. It can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the... Oh, Jesus. I forgot I had the gravity on. Alright, now the second ship I made was a had a single purpose. It's called the Planet Cracker. And this thing, it just has a bunch of salvage cannons. And I used this at first, I used it to mine up a bunch of resources really quickly. But you don't really need to do that if you just, you know, cheat. But my ships get so big that there's just no way that I could get all the stuff that I need quickly. So anyways, this thing's pretty, pretty powerful. It can be used as a weapon currently using a previous version of the game just because I'm afraid to update because I don't want to lose these ships yet. I'm probably going to update after making this video. But yeah, as you can see, this thing tears through ships. So it's it's like a weapon all on its own. And uh, originally when I was making these ships, I didn't know that you could buy them back. And so I would just dock them to uh, I, every ship that I made that was bigger. I would dock all the smaller ships on. So you're going to see that, and this one is here. This is the next ship I made. This one's called Helion Prime, which is a reference to Riddick, if you didn't know. And I thought, I kind of went Pillar of Autumn with this ship. That's what I was kind of going for. Now it's got a docking on the side here, docking on the top. That fighter was originally docked to the top, but I took it off. A cockpit up top, and then it's kind of got this yellow and black design going on. I'm not really sure what that's all about. I just kind of didn't have enough gray blocks, so I used yellow and black. Then we got missiles up here. And let me just get in and make it easier. Right, so we have these missiles up top. We got one in each corner. And we have spots for three turrets, but currently there's only one on there. I don't know why. It just doesn't spawn with all the stuff sometimes. And, uh, yeah, these turrets, turrets rather, they uh, have their own shielding, only three blocks. These are kind of like minimal turrets, just like the base that you need. You don't really need these power blocks on your turrets, but I put them on anyways. Bobby AI modules and stuff. And then I, originally I thought you needed uh, a docking block for each half, but that's not the case. You only need one to dock a ship, or a turret, rather. Anyways, 
This has one long cannon going down the middle of the ship. The back is pretty much all engines. It's just solid engines. And then we got a bunch of power cores back here. And power cores go all along the ship, all along the center here. And we got basically a nice open corridor area so we can check on things. The gravity module's up there. And then I got the weapons, missiles, and then the, uh, the normal weapons. So yeah, that's pretty much this ship. Let me show you the uh, firepower. These are the three... Whoa, yeah, this ship is fast as all hell. Oh my god, I just launched missiles at the shop. Not good. That is not a good thing. Uh, it doesn't look like they're attacking me though, so we're good. Yeah, this is like a rapid fire cannon. Very cool. I like that a lot. This thing has its own shields as well. Oh shit, there we go. As you can see, the shields don't really last long in these ships. They're not very powerful. Right, so now onto the the big ones. Now this ship was my next ship. And this was the first time I used the, uh, well, originally, here, let me just show you. When I would make a ship, I would place each block individually. But then I learned that you can actually hold down control and set how many blocks you're placing down. And so you can build bigger ships a lot faster, as you can see. Now, this is the next ship I've made. This one is called Dark Star and uh, it's a beast. We have these big ol' engine, this one big engine here in the back, and that pretty much sucks up all my power. And then uh, this thing is just loaded with turrets. On the sides, on either side, we have these big, uh, I forgot what I called these, big like antimatter cannons. And then we have spots for little turrets all along the sides here. And then on the top, this, is my disintegrator cannon. This thing fires rapidly and it just tears things up pretty pretty fast. It's pretty cool. I just wanted to put a bunch of different types of turrets on this ship. And then we got this turret up here, which I call the Mac cannon. It's taken a bit of battle damage. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. It doesn't actually perform very well. Like I was expecting it to fire one massive shot very slowly, but for some reason it's like a rapid fire machine gun. And then here are the main weapons, the four big cannons that uh, also have missiles integrated. Now let me actually show you the inside of the ship here. I'm not even in the ship, I just realized. Okay, bear with me here. I'm going to have to fly over. Whoa. Right. So here's the entrance, the airlock, and the gravity. What the hell just happened? Oh, okay, I just got teleported. Okay, anyways, let's just go back in here. I'm gonna activate the gravity. Ugh, there we go. Now we have the gravity on, do we? Yeah, okay. Now we'll close the. What the hell? What? This is really, really weird. Turn the gravity on. It says I've entered the gravity. Okay. Close that door. Close this door. There we go. Now, this thing, uh, it's got a lot of empty space inside, because I had future plans to make it bigger, but it just kind of never happened. Here's the core. And uh, we go down here. This is the weapons, missiles, and antimatter cannons. We got another door here and it leads down into the cockpit. It says the gravity's on, but I'm not. There we go. Much better. Okay, yeah, here's the cockpit. Nice viewport here. And then we got another room down here. This is the storage room. And then this just leads back to the cockpit. Now let's actually get in the ship. As you can see, there's a kind of a ma maintenance uh, access area here and another you can access the gravity from outside as well because there's just 
down here we have a, a docking bay. It's a really small docking bay for like one little shuttle. I was going to make it escape pods, but the, you have to have the entire green box clear of blocks. And it's kind of a pain. Like as you can see, this my power core here. Originally it went all through here, but it would block this green blocks. So I had to just, uh, this, oh, I'm not even talking right. And mm, the rest of this ship is pretty much just empty space. But anyways, let me show you now what this baby can do. Let's get the middle view here. Right, now this thing should just tear through Helion Prime. Right. Antimatter cannons. Fire. Boom, boom, boom. See, there goes the turn instantly. Oh my god. I've already taken the shields down. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Very cool. Let's hit it with some missiles. For some reason, the right top missiles don't fire. And they're they're hooked up, they just they don't fire. I don't know why. I think it's actually like that with most of my ships. It's really weird. It's like a weird glitch or something. Anyways. So that's Dark Star. And that thing is was my biggest previously until I made my new ship, which I'm about to show you. Though you've probably already seen it out of the corner of your eye, or out of the corner of my screen, rather. Just go through the, the docking bay here. Right. So, the next big ship that I tried to make is down here. This thing, I, I just kind of went with the same sort of designs I've been going with. Like, one long, like, straight tube, kind of. Except this one I made with like two. I was gonna originally make these circles, like uh, I don't know, more rounded. And uh, anyways, I kind of started building it, and I was gonna make it blue. And I put these cannons on the side, and I just thought I don't like the look of this anymore, so I just kind of gave up on it. But I'm gonna show you it anyways. It's really, you know what? Actually, no, I'm not going to show you this. It'd take too long. It's such a big ship. I'm going to go straight to the mother. The mother ship. Where is it? My most recent build, right here. Lightbringer. That's what I call it. This thing I went all out on. I, I made it as powerful and as detailed as possible. It's, uh, it's pretty impressive, I have to say. It's completely... All these yellow bits are hardened hull and uh, the core is made up of normal white hull and it's got this massive massive cannon here on the front no missiles this is the only weapons that it has and I really should probably do something about these power blocks place them with red lights but yeah so anyways and then I got a uh, these are the engines each one of these things you know what let me let me get inside the ship actually make it easier the entrance is located right here it's a little slit with these big thick doors right so yeah this thing is my pride and joy and the only this is the only hollow point in the entire ship this long corridor now let me get in the core okay now I can better show you this so this top part here or these side parts, I should say, are uh, the engines. We have these are just kind of cool little details I put in, and then I think this is I've never seen engines as cool as these so far in all the videos I've seen on YouTube. I think these are probably the coolest looking engines, and uh, they're just filled completely with blocks. This one, however, is filled with primarily power blocks because I had a power issue and uh, the middle section is all thrusters as you can see here I left a little bit exposed just to kinda make it a little more fair I didn't want my ship to be completely indestructible and then these are just purely for you know vanity for vanity uh, for vanity what the fuck <laughs> and uh, anyways 
This, this front part, I think I have thrusters in here because I needed a little bit more. Yeah, as you can see, there are thrusters here. And then in these side ones, I think I've got shields in these side ones because the shieldings were pretty pretty pathetic. As you can see, I got 26,000 shield recharge. But that's not very much. I think my Dark Star has more than that. So yeah, anyways... What, what, what have I got to show you? I think that's pretty much it. There's not much to this ship. I mean, this mostly just filled with power cores and shield blocks and all that good stuff. There's like no storage or anything in here. This is purely aesthetic. It's just very pleasing to the eye. That's what I was going for. I think I may add some missiles here at each of these. Maybe not, I'm not sure. This is only the first iteration of this ship. I may or may not go back and put in more detail. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This has been Eat My Disco Box. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like the video, and see you next time. Real quick, I forgot to show you the, uh, the weapon system on this thing. It's not the best. It looks pretty impressive, but it doesn't actually destroy things as fast as I'd like. I'll show you, for instance, with Dark Star. But on Prime, it just pretty much rips through. Oh, yeah, look at that. Eat it. Oh, my God. I've pretty much hollowed out the entire ship already. So, yeah, the cannons don't do as much damage as I'd like, but I kind of ran out of room. The middle ones do a lot more damage than the outside ones. But I don't think it can even... Well, I don't know. Let's see. Can I get through these shields? Oh yeah, there we go. So it can get through the shields pretty easily. That's good. Oh yeah, look at that. Destroy! Destroy it all! Right. Where's that other ship? That big ugly one? Oh yeah, see this one? It cannot get through the shields. Nothing can get through these shields. Because I pretty much filled this entire back area with uh, shield blocks. And so they're just pretty much impregnable. Now, I think as a finale, we can destroy Dark Star. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Tear it up. Destroy the disintegrator cannon. Take down those shields. Come on. Boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah, massive hits all over. Look at this, tearing through it. Oh shit, I'm accidentally shooting the shot. That's not good. Not that they could actually kill me, but... I don't want to fight the shops. Oh god, didn't mean to do that. Well, this has been Eat My Disco Box. Thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe. I'll see you next time.